As a child, I wanted to be in the military. Um, it was something I always wanted to do. Uh, I met Josh when I was 16 years old, and one thing led to another, and we were married at 17 and 18. So, and then right away, we had children, three <laughs> children, in the first four years of marriage. So, we put that to the back burner, and when they got to the, you know, older, we decided it's time that I can, you know, do what I want. It's very difficult. We are, when you see one, you see five of us. That's just how it's always, always been. And unfortunately, for the next year, it will only be four. And I will be there, you know, when I come home for my two weeks of R&R, &R, but I'll be gone again quickly. I'm different from my mother because my mother is a very loving, soft-spoken, homemaker type person. Ever since I can remember three, four years old, I was out making mud pies with the boys. I just, I was a tomboy. I loved playing sports and football and baseball with my dad. So for me to know at a young age, you know, eight, nine, ten years old, that I wanted to be in the military, and now at 33 in the military, and knowing that I'm going to fight for this country and to do something I wanted to do so many years ago, it's definitely, we're two different people. But one day, somebody made a comment, and I said, well, I'm going off to basic training. Um, in January of 2010 and my parents were sitting there and they turned around and they were like excuse me and I said yeah I wanted to make sure you were all together when I told you and my mother and father just shook their head and they're like I just don't understand Again, when I came home from basic training in AIT after six months the first time I went to my unit I was greeted handed them my packet that I was sent home with and said I would like to transfer to the active active army and they said you're not going anywhere because we are being deployed next year and I literally looked at the sergeant that was standing in front of me and I said deployed where and he turned and looked at me with a smile and said to Iraq and I thought I was going to throw up on his floor. Expecting six months out of training, you know, at being out, that I was going to be sent overseas. I was expecting it, just not that soon. I think the military has not only brought out what I knew, what was inside, but has also changed me as a person. Um, I was a very quiet, stand in the corner, wouldn't talk to anybody unless they came to me shy person. I would not go an extra mile. Now I'm willing to stand up and say hey this is not right or and be shy anymore. I don't think the army makes you beautiful. Uh, you know I can't say much for the uniform but um, I'm proud to wear this uniform and I stand with my shoulders back and I stand proud for who I am and what I support in the country that I protect and serve. So I, uh, inside it makes you beautiful. So. Uh, Josh and I met when we were um, 16 and 17 years old and a few uh, weeks after being hired he asked would I go out on a date with him and He's been here ever since. So, um. I actually asked her out for the first time on August 8th of 2005 at 1.30 in the morning. No, ni 1995, honey. What did I say? 2005. Oh, math is bad. 1995. But yeah, it was after work. We were at 1.30 in the morning. Had nothing else to do, so. And then I haven't got rid of her since, so. <laughs> Well, I got my ring tattooed uh, quite a few years ago for the line of work I'm in was in um, that and I just don't like wearing wedding bands so it was something because I wanted everybody to know that I loved her and you know wouldn't have the chance of taking my ring off so 
Um, yeah, it was something I did, and I try to get her to do it, but that doesn't quite work out so well. <laughs> the reason why he wants me to get mine tattooed is because my job with the military, I cannot wear a wedding band or my dog tags while I'm refueling helicopters because of the static electricity. I just can't get the uh, guts to tattoo my finger because it hurts. <laughs> so. Hurts quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> is, um, one of the things we've tried to instill in, in our kids, you know, as we're growing up, pretty much as kids ourselves, um, be close to your family because we don't know how much time you ever have here. You know, they ask us, hey, do you want to come to youth group with us? And I'm like, been there, I've done that, thank you. It, this is your time, enjoy yourself. But we'll be over in the other end with the adults. So, you know, it's nice that they want us there and that when you do see one, you know the other four are just right around the corner. So, the first time I was able to call home, I cried because I was not used to full grown adults screaming in my face telling me to do something that I didn't want to do. So, that was an adjustment. But after the first week or two, I was like, just do what they say follow the rules and the next nine weeks will go by and they did they were you know every morning we were up at five running or doing push-ups and sit-ups and it was cold it was January so some of those mornings were 20 degrees one morning there was four inches of snow and they closed the base down but um it was fun I actually was one of the top qualifying females in shooting I had never shot a weapon before. They all asked, have you ever shot one? I said no. So that was interesting. I highly enjoyed shooting weapons. So. Well, my job is a 92 Fox, which is a um, refueler. And I refuel helicopters, Blackhawks, Chinooks. Um, I drive a Hemet, which is a big tanker truck. And that's what we take to go refuel. Uh, the helicopters. But unfortunately, civilians do our jobs over there. We will be doing um, convoys through the cities. We will be doing, um, some of us will be door gunners on the Chinooks and Blackhawks. We will be guards at the gates. Um, we have a lot of different jobs that we'll be uh, put out to do. Um, I'm hoping that I will be doing a door gunner which is something that I would love to do. And we'll be shooting mini Gatlin guns <laughs> off the Chinooks, but. She's been, was gone for six months for her training, so it won't be too bad. We're still in our routine, and we've been married for 14 years now, so a year here and there, I guess, is not gonna make much of a difference, but it'll be sad to see her go, and to help the kids, some of her friends made a thing for them to count the days for when mommy leaves until when she gets back. That's until I leave and then when I'm gone, then they start until mommy comes home. Stay safe. Um, with every letter I sent her during basic trainer, it said, stay strong, stay smart, and stay safe. And it's pretty much at that point, that's all you can say because you've had a year to, to say everything else. So can't say the, the good stuff at the last minute, so you gotta say what you can. Kiss them goodbye and tell them you'll be home when they get there. Sail on, silver girl. Sail